Did you know that the police are under no legal obligation to protect you? One might think it's just anti-police propaganda, but on multiple occasions, America's courts have ruled that the state and its agents are not legally binded to protect us. The Supreme Court ruled in Town of Castle Rock v. Gonzalez that the police did not have a constitutional duty to protect a person from harm. Basically, the appellant had no constitutionally protected property interest in the enforcement of the restraining order and since they determined that the state had not deprived her of life, liberty, or property, the police had a right to ignore the calls. Darren Hutchinson, a professor at University of Florida School of Law, states, Police can watch someone attack you, refuse to intervene, and not violate the Constitution. And it's important to note that when cops do intervene, they're always on high alert, which puts common citizens at risk. As the saying goes, better judged by 12 than carried by 6. From the start, rookies are taught that the first rule of law enforcement is that their lives are more valuable than those around them. In essence, the police aren't here to protect you. They're here to protect the state, those with wealth and property, and most importantly, themselves. Racism, burning buildings, AIDS, victims, cancer, kill it, no cure. All your spilling turmoil, your poverty stricken, police brutality, kicking ass of us Africans, hostages in Afghanistan, not to mention another prison. Child molesting, cow intestine, both types injection, earthquakes, that's government testing, secret society weapon, opium plant manifested, then turned to crack, then invested amongst the black, just a method to hold us back.